Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going after plutonium production, a topic which was requested multiple times in the past few days. So I'll briefly cover the normal ore method and then the main method will be depleting uranium and neptunium fuel using pressurized water reactor. Now with these two reactors running, we will get a lot of power, roughly 380 million HU per second. So yeah, I have improved my previous design which I uploaded in the last video. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So let's start with nether plutonium ore first. Now this ore is only available if you have enabled it in the configs. So yeah, make sure to enable it in the config if you want to mine it from the nether. And once you have this ore, the most efficient way to go about this would be to first process it in an ore acidizer to obtain the crystals. These crystals can then go in an electrolysis machine and this machine will then process the crystals with nitric acid in order to give us 6 ingots per crystal along with the polonium 210. So the plutonium can then be casted into blocks, ingots, nuggets, whatever you would wish. Same goes for polonium and also one other byproduct will be the lithium powder, tiny piles of lithium powder. So yeah, this is how you can automate the electrolysis machine. Now the plutonium can then be shredded into plutonium powder and then you have two ways to go about this. This plutonium powder can be processed first in a silex which will take hydrogen peroxide and plutonium powder and also visible light which is a bismuth crystal and then you can separate the solution into three isotopes plutonium 238 239 and 240 which i think is the best way to go about this whole thing because the alternative is that you take the powder and then you mix it in a chemical plant with fluoride water to get plutonium hexafluoride this in a gas centrifuge will give you plutonium 238 and then reactor clade plutonium which is kind of the combination of 239 and 240 but not as powerful we want as much 239 plutonium 239 as we can get our hands on so i would say if possible go with the method of the silex rather than the gas centrifuge method so yeah we get 239 238 and 240 separated in the silex like this so that's the method for ore if you have enabled it in the configs if you have not and if you have a uranium bedrock ore processing setup then we can deplete uranium 235 to obtain neptunium now neptunium can be crafted into highly enriched neptunium 237 which once again can be depleted to obtain plutonium 239 directly and 239 can be crafted into like a lot of things it's used in mostly all of the bombs and in the form of rbmk you can also obtain the short-lived waste which will give you 241 so yeah 239 is pretty useful now to craft the pwr first we start with a base of the pressure vessels in a 9 by 9 formation so here's a 9 by 9 base and now we come to the middle of this 9 by 9 and we start placing reflectors so leave two blocks from the middle so one and two and from the third block place down eight reflectors surrounding the center block like this and then place eight more on the perimeter like this so two on the each sides and now we have 16 reflectors on the base placed like this on top of each reflector place down the control rods and then in the space which we have left in the middle we are going to place down the coolant channels so fill up this entire section with coolant channels and that's our second layer done so for the third layer, we start placing the fuel rods on top of the 16 control rods that we have placed. So place them down like this. And in the middle, a neutron source and then cover every fuel rod on each side with control rods. So there are six sides. The bottom is already covered. Next are the sides and we will cover the top when we build the next layer. So once all of the sides are done, your reactor lo should look something like this. Now in the 16 spaces which are in the middle, we place down heat sinks in a 4x4 grid formation like this and then to close off the outside, start placing down reflectors. So reflectors will be placed wherever there is a fuel rod, so 3 or 5 basically on each side like this and that should close off every open side and this is how the layer should look like. To expand this up we get the neutron source up by one and close off all of the fuel rods on the top 
using control blocks. So that's done. And now we divide this layer into two equal halves. The first half will have heat exchanger and the second half will have coolant channels. And as it is completely symmetric, it's possible to divide it equally. So one, two, and three, that's one half done. And for the other half, place down coolant channels here. So filling up all of the remaining spaces. And there we have completely and equally divided. To expand this even further now, the process will be the same. So I'm going to speed through this, place down fuel rods, control rods on each side. And uh, in the middle, we are going to have heat sinks. And also close it off using reflectors. Don't forget that step as it will contribute to the heat generated. Once that's done, on the top will be more control rods. And this time, as we already had coolant channels on the bottom, we will have heat exchangers on the top. So the bottom layer was coolant channels. The top layer will be heat exchanger. Fill it up in every remaining space. And now on the top, we close it off on the control rods with reflectors. And in the middle, we place down the pressure vessel. And with that, the reactor should be closed on the top and on the bottom and it should start looking something like this. Now we come to the side of this reactor where we are going to place down a lot of heat sinks. So place down 14 heat sinks on each side like this, seven on the top, seven on the bottom on each side, that's 14 in total. And once that's done, now we can start covering this whole reactor up with pressure vessel. So on every open side, wherever there is like an open channel, close it up with the pressure vessel. And if you miss any, then when you go to form this reactor, the console will let you know where you have missed a pressure vessel. So with that done, the reactor should start looking something like this now. Now don't forget to place down some ports in order to get the coolant in and out. And now to form this reactor, place down a neutron source in the middle anywhere you want and then place down a controller right clicking it will form it and we will have a reactor with 54 million thermal unit capacity now we want two such reactors one for 235 and one for 237 the neptunium 237 so i'm going to use world edit in order to copy this entire reactor and paste it leaving a one block gap in the middle i was going to leave three but one looks better time to form both of these reactors now and that's it so now we have two reactors with 54 million thermal unit capacity. Double check that. And we can start working on the basically piping work now. I'm going to speed through this because it's common. Now for this reactor, you are going to need six heat channels in total. And all of them should be set to 9999. The reactor in this case will use liquid sodium so set every heat exchanger to hot liquid sodium and the amount should be set to 9999 on the top and from the front i'm going to connect the pipes for hot liquid or the hot liquid sodium and from the back side i'm going to connect the pipes for the normal liquid sodium so with that the cycle will be complete and uh, yeah some gauges to see how much coolant we are using per tick or per second so that's the pipe for liquid sodium and that's it we have made a closed loop for hot liquid sodium and normal liquid sodium now one leviathan turbine should do the trick connect all six of the industrial boilers and normal steam so there is no setting change on the leviathan and as we are going to produce a lot of steam i'm going to use the powered condenser this time because if we use the big cooling towers, then we need what, 20, yeah, no, not 20, but uh, I think 11 or something like that. Basically, a lot of cooling towers, so instead, I'm going with powered condenser. Now, to power this thing up, basically, first, we fill up both of the reactors with hot, no, sorry, not the hot, the normal liquid sodium and all of the boilers with water. So, once the reactors have liquid sodium, the boilers have water in them. We can start our first reactor, which will be 235, the highly enriched uranium 235. 
and for this reactor you can actually pull out the control rods completely by 100 percent no issues there so by pulling out the control rods by 100 percent we will get over 1 million flux in there and uh, steam is nearly 100 million millibuckets per second nearly there and for that we are going to produce roughly 169 mega hg per second nice number now it doesn't show here because we are giving off some of the power to the power condenser so i'm going to break off this connection to show you the 169 mega hg per second power production which could have been 200 if we were using the normal turbine with 100 percent efficiency and by the way it will take 37 seconds for a single 235 fuel rod to deplete now once this rod has depleted we can process we can cool it down and process it to obtain the neptunium and once you obtain neptunium 237 you can pull out the control rods by maximum 86 in this design we can pull it out by 86 and that will push the power production to 380 roughly 380 mega hg per second so yeah don't pull it out by 100 percent on the neptunium but you can do that on the uranium side so over 2 million millibuckets per second of low pressure steam as i said you are going to need a lot a lot of cooling towers if we go that route and if we were using 100 percent efficiency the power production could have been nearly 450 mega g per second but yeah 85 percent efficiency it is and once you have depleted some of the neptunium you can pull it down and then reprocess it to obtain plutonium 239 which can then be processed further so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this peace out